Hi friends, this is not an Aero Garden experiment or anything related to Aero Garden. I'm just excited for this project and I just wanted to share my excitement with you all. This is an organic mushroom grow kit from the company called Back to the Roots. This is basically a kit to grow mushrooms at home. I wanted to try this kit for a really long time, a couple of years really, but they are always expensive so I never really tried. I recently saw a discount on Amazon and ordered this. Finally it is here and I am going to try this. Since this is the first time I am growing, I need to read the instructions. An instruction manual, a small spray bottle and this is the real stuff. Wow, it looks pretty ugly, but I think this is how it is going to be. Alright, now it's time to read the instructions. Alright, I am done reading the instructions. It is pretty simple. This pack is called substrate. In the instructions, the first step is, uh, there is a cutting on this box. Just follow this and uh, open it. I think it is easy if I use a knife. Though they marked it very well, it is not easy, so it needs a little bit of work. Now place the substrate inside the box. I don't know which direction it's supposed to go, but there is an empty part here. So they didn't mention it clearly, but I'm just going to keep this inside. After placing the substrate in the box, we need to mark X. Then we have to scrape a little bit. Just lift up and little scraping. Alright, after that, take the substrate out and leave it in a bowl of water facing down, just like this. So the log is floating and they said that's totally okay. That's totally normal. So now we need to leave it like this for 6 to 10 hours. I am going to leave it 10 hours. Alright, the substrate have been soaking for 10 hours. The next step in this process is to take the substrate out and shake off the excess water. Okay, now after shaking and uh, taking out the excess water, put it back in the box. That's it, I put it back. Now we just have to keep this box aside. It says that mushrooms will grow best in a spot with indirect sunlight. Facing away from a window is perfect. Now I am going to leave it on my windowsill facing inside. That means facing away from the sunlight. Here it is sitting in my window. Let's see the progress every day. It's day 3. Looks like something is forming here. Anyways, from day 2 to day 6, we have to keep spraying the moisture on this substrate. We have to keep this moist all the time. That's it. It's day 5. The mushroom is growing excellent. It looks so beautiful. It's day 6. Mushrooms are getting big. Now they are looking even more beautiful. It's day 7, mushrooms are growing very nice. Some of the mushrooms have reached the size of a quarter coin. They are looking so beautiful. It's day 9, mushrooms have grown further big. They are almost ready to harvest. Look at this nice structure on the back of the mushrooms. 
they are looking so beautiful it's day 11 the mushrooms have grown big enough and they started to dry up already I think I made two mistakes here. One is I stopped spraying these mushrooms from day six because that's what I saw in instructions and they started drying up. You can see how badly they are drying up here. So we should continue to spray these mushrooms. The next thing is we should really harvest them on day 10 or as soon as they are well developed. Waiting any longer will make the mushrooms to dry up. So these were looking so beautiful on day 8 and day 9. They are looking good on day 10 as well. But today I am seeing they are drying up very badly. I should have at least harvested these mushrooms yesterday. So I am going to harvest all these mushrooms today. Overall I am pretty happy with this kit. It produced nice mushrooms. I think only because of my two mistakes, I couldn't get the fresh and uh, nice mushrooms. Anyways, I'm going to harvest all these mushrooms today and start over on the backside of the substrate. Harvesting is a little tricky. The instruction says we have to harvest all the mushrooms at once. So I'm going to do my best. All right, here it is. My kitchen scale is not working to weigh these mushrooms. Anyway, they dried up little bit, so they lost their weight. But if everything goes well, I think this is going to be about one LB of mushrooms. Now the question is, is this worth the price? Usually the single pack kit costs $20 and I don't think it's worth. And I wouldn't buy these at $20. However, I am seeing that these kits are going on sale pretty often these days. So watch for the deals. I think they are worth at $12 price range. I see both single pack kit and the 3 pack kits are on sale at the time of this recording. Please find the links to both these products in the description below. I am going to repeat the same process on the other side of the substrate. That is all for now. I will post the updates once I got the results from the other side of the substrate. Thanks for watching.